the thing about a team like this is that there's always going to be a lot of really, really talented players um, that are around, so the competition's always going to be, there's a high level of competition. Um, and, you know, there's, there's things that I want to do um, and, and work on this spring, that, and that's going to kind of be my primary focus. Um, mm -hmm. Stuff like roster construction, um, I don't really have any say in it other than um, what I'm showing in terms of performance and my work day to day. So that's just kind of what my focus is. Sweeney Murdy, you have the next question. Mike, how are you? It's good to see you. Um, do you how much time do you spend thinking about last season and uh, your performance last season compared to the year before? Uh, there are a lot of players who dealt with a lot of things last year, and you know it's easy to explain away some of those things. What kind of answer did you kind of come up with when you thought about last season versus 2019 for you? Um, I mean, obviously, you know, kind of like you said, it was um, – it's a difficult season to evaluate in that there wasn't a ton of um, opportunity and time to, if, if, you know, I felt like I had a bad few weeks and then next thing you know, the season's over. And, um, the, you know, that's not saying that you don't have to perform because regardless of what's going on, it's the game's about performance. And, you know, um, I didn't perform the level that I expect out of myself. Um, so when I got home, I tried to identify the things that I could do to um, improve myself, and I got to work pretty quickly on uh, some of those things. And then um, I just tried to also keep it in perspective that it was like, hey, you know, it was a strange year, and, um, you know, I had a conversation with some of the hitting coaches, and we kind of decided – you know, this is what it was last year, but we're not talking about that anymore. We're talking about this year. And it's so just, what, what are some of those things you identified, Mike? Um, so, so for me, I, um, my uh, bat path got a little bit out of whack, and it led me to being consistently uh, under plane and a little bit disconnected, which I believe directly correlated to my struggles against um, – velocity so um, I kind of attacked the off season um, with some work to uh, create a tighter flatter bat path that would allow me to um, cover the pitches that are you know you have to cover if you want to play this game and I, I know this is probably how you approach every spring so far but given the competition for spots right now is is performance this spring is putting up uh, production this spring, maybe it more of a premium for you? I mean, you always want to play, every time you're out there, you want to play well. Um, but once again, you know, if, if I come into spring training and you're looking at maybe 50 at-bats and, you know, you hit 10 balls right on the screws and you line out, like, you know, I mean, I, so, so for me, I, you know, it's, it's, in the season, there's a there is a level of back of the baseball card surface level production. I think in spring training you can you can dive a little bit deeper to say, you know, well I had two at bats today and one I walked and one I lined out to the center fielder. That's a pretty good day, if you ask me. But um, you always want to play well. You always want to have production. Um, I I think there's been thousands of times that you'll see a guy doesn't get a hit all spring and he'll start the season out with a 20 game hitting streak vice versa. So um, I think quality of work, building myself, building the um, capacity up to be playing back-to-back uh, -back games, playing different positions, um, being able to just kind of just some check some of those boxes off is always going to be a priority in spring. Going first to third, stealing a base, um, you know, maybe coming in a game late and, and to simulate, you know, the times that that happens during the year. Um, I think those things are more of a priority than, you know, I'd love to hit 400 this spring. If I don't hit 400 this spring, I, I, I think I'll still be okay. Thank you. And I'm sorry if I can ask one last one. Uh, is, has playing first base maybe improved some of your versatility? Has that ever been brought up to you? Have you talked about it? Anything this spring about that? Um, it's not been brought up to me. 
Um, I have a little bit of experience in uh, there dating back to college. Um, if it was ever brought up to me, um, yeah, I'd, I'd be willing to get, get out there and give it a go. We'll take the next one from Pete Caldera. Hey Mike. Uh, Boone uh, the other day kind of mentioned in passing that you thought you were a little bit banged up physically also last year. I was wondering if that was, uh, if that was also uh, something you were dealing with last summer. Um, I mean, I guess. Um, you know, I had some issues with my shoulder. Um, but I, 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 I felt as though I was good enough, healthy enough to be in the lineup. Um, it wasn't something that I felt like could take me on line. Could have affected my performance or, you know, I compensated and built some bad habits. It's possible, but I don't like to use, I don't want to use that as an excuse because at the end of the day, um, the production wasn't there to the level that I hold myself to. So, um... I spent a lot of time this off season addressing that as well, and I feel great. I feel um, as though my body is in a really good spot right now, um, and uh, I'm just you know kind of excited to uh, play in some games here coming up. 